Hi. In this video, we will discuss resistor value calculation from various types of resistor codes. There are many types of coding styles as mentioned here. In this part, we will discuss how to read resistor values from color-coded bands. Now, why there was a need for these codes? Why can't they directly print the values on the resistor body itself? Resistors are too small to print their values directly, so manufacturers use colored bands to represent numbers. By learning this code, we can quickly identify any resistor value. As per the color code band scheme, there are four main types of color codes. Three band, four band, five band, and six band. For this coding, a standard was formed in 1920 by the Radio Manufacturers Association. This standard identify values and ratings of electronic components by printing color codes on them. To read resistor values from color codes, we first need to know the color digit system. Each color represents a number as shown in the table. So if we take three band scheme, we can see there is a group of bands together at one side of the resistor and a large gap without any bands on the other side. These bands are read from the edge of the resistor body, which is opposite side of the gap. The first two digits are derived from the first and second color bands. The third color band is the multiplier. So in this case, the bands are brown, black and green. The tolerance for three band scheme is assumed to be 20%. Thus, the resistor value becomes 1 mega ohm with 20% tolerance. This means the resistance value can be anything between 0.8 mega ohm to 1.2 mega ohm. Now for four band scheme, the same code reading convention is followed. Here also the first two digits are derived from the first two color bands by reading from left to right. And the third color band is the multiplier. The fourth color band in this scheme is used for the tolerance value. So in this example shown here, the bands are brown, black, red and gold. Thus, the resistance value becomes 1 kilo ohm. And due to the tolerance value of 5%, the final resistance value is anything between 950 ohm to 1050 ohm. The 5-band scheme is used for resistors with higher accuracy. Here, the first three digits are derived from the first, second and the third color bands. The fourth color band is the multiplier. The fifth band is used for the tolerance value. So in this example, the bands are brown, black, green, red and gold. Thus, the resistor value becomes 10.5 kilo ohm with 5% tolerance. This means the resistance value can be anything between 9.975 kilo ohms to 11.025 kilo ohms. The 6-band color code is used for precision resistors, where not only high accuracy is needed, but also information about how the resistance changes with temperature is also essential. Here, the first five bands are same as five band scheme. The sixth color band describes the temperature dependency of the resistor value, meaning how the resistance value changes with change in temperature. This value is in part per million or ppm per degree centigrade. So in this example, the bands are brown, red, black, green, gold and red. Thus, the resistor value becomes 12 mega ohm with 5% tolerance and TCR of 50 ppm per degree centigrade. This means the resistance value can be anything between 11.4 mega ohms to 12.6 mega ohms. And the final resistance value can change by about 50 ppm or 600 ohms for every 1 degree Celsius change in temperature. So in conclusion, resistor color codes are simple once you know the bands. 3 band gives only the value. 4 band adds tolerance. 5 band gives more precision with an extra digit. And 6 band also shows temperature stability. So from basic to precision, more bands mean more accuracy and detail. Subscribe this channel for more such videos.